Joe McKill, Dre, do you know what? It was just a little baby when we saw him burst onto our screens in the X Factor. Four studio albums later, our oh, Joe's all grown up. A very good morning to Hello, you. how are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm really good. I'm <laughs> excited to be over here. Is it, well, you're very welcome. Now, I do have to apologise about the Northern Ireland weather, Joe. Ah, it's all right. It's, it's it doesn't get any worse than the North East, trust us. <laughs> I suppose not. I suppose not. It's always, it's actually always colder in Newcastle. So we're, we're well, actually, when we got off the plane last night, we landed late last night and stepped off the plane. It was warmer here than it was over. Was it? Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, you're going to stay for a nice weekend. We'll talk about why you're over in a minute. But um, I can't believe I just uttered the words. Four studio albums. I know. That's smart. insane. It's ridiculous. It seems like yesterday that you were just on the X Factor and this little baby face burst onto our screens and this it's amazing been, voice. Yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy, I mean it's three three years ago, yeah. it's just like it flew by to be yeah. honest. I think that's because I've been so busy, yeah. but um, yeah, I can't believe four albums later, it feels, feels really weird when people say that. We've been having an X Factor fest on this programme all week, literally every day we've had an X Factor guest, really? honestly. Um, but, you know, but some contestants from last year and, and 2010 as well. But I have to ask you, like I've asked every one of them, we're in the middle of X Factor fever now again. Of course, the show started last Saturday. Does it does it feel like another lifetime ago, all that X Factor? Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, it, it, um, it, it has flew by, but I kind of feel like it's one of those things when something that, that big happens in your life, you feel like it didn't happen. Yeah. So I, it, it is quite... Somebody asked that the other day and they were like, you must feel like it didn't happen. And sometimes I'd look back and i think, did it really happen? Because yeah. like, I can't remember a lot of it. I just remember it being the most amazing experience. But it just went by so fast. So it was just crazy but you don't regret no doing i would it. do it all again i really? had so much fun because i hate um, these people that go on that show and then they come out and they go oh no i'd never i wish i hadn't done that and blah 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 no i like, listen I, I i'm a massive fan of the show still am and i loved it i loved every minute of it to be honest and um, it was it was it was a great platform yeah. to move on you know without without that show i wouldn't have been i wouldn't be here with the new album so you, you know like i just can't believe that i have a fourth brand new album out. It's just ridiculous. That's, that is ridiculous. It's, it's I'm sorry, but that is just ridiculous. I'm going to hear a track from the album uh, very, very shortly. But um, I mean, four albums later, and you've decided you've done some co-writing on yes, this song, new one. Songwriting for the first time. Wow. I mean, was that like? Okay, this is what I'm in this for. This is to express who I am. I think so. I think I, w I think I, I realised that I'd done the classic album, I'd done the Christmas album, I'd done the first album, which, which had originals on as well. And I knew I wanted original material on this one, but I kind of knew that to, for the next step to grow as an artist more, I knew that it was what I had to do. And I was very anxious about doing it. Yeah. It was kind of my manager that was like, come on, you can do it, just try it. And I went in the studio in January and just started and I've never kind of stopped writing since. I really enjoy it now. Um, and I'm just, I feel so lucky that the first time I've written songs, I've been fortunate enough that the label have, have liked them enough to put them on the album. Yeah. Sometimes people write for years and years and they go, still not up to the standard that we're, we're looking for. So <laughs> I feel really privileged that they've been like, we really like these, listen, yeah. let's go with one of your songs for the first single. So. Yeah, could have went a totally different way, but it's it's been really po a really positive experience. Quite personal, because yeah. it feels strange letting people hear songs that are it is really personal, personal experience. Yeah. But um, great, you know, that people get to see that side of it. And I was listening to the album, you've got some really fantastic classics in there. Some of my favourites as well. You've done, um, you've got Leo Sayre. Yes, I need you. Yeah. Oh, I mean, when that song starts, it's just like, I, mean, I told you. I mean, you had, uh, it, only it was raining, it was raining in the car as well, because it was like, oh! <laughs> so emotional listening to this album. It's quite an emotional album. It's yeah. full of like emotion, and it, it, that wasn't really the the plan. It just kind of everything fitted, and the original songs that were being submitted. I think you know people know me for belting out the big tunes, yeah. and, and kind of like really putting the emotion across on songs. So it's great that I can put some of them on there. But there's some like mid tempo -y ones there with the big band like structure on them. But um. Yeah, I mean the the covers. I wanted to be a bit clever with them and choose ones that people wouldn't expect and if they did expect them, create a totally different version. So like, something's got a hold of my heart, Gene Hitney. Hitney. It's you'll have heard it's stripped back totally different to the original. Yeah. So that it gives it, it, it makes it like an original and it's put me own stamp on it. And it's always a, a risky thing to do because, you know, people who love 
and are very loyal to originals when you start doing a twist on yeah. it they either love it or they hate it but I have to say these are very very good and uh, one lady who is no stranger to this studio is Beth Nielsen Chapman oh. and Northern Ireland people love she's Beth. incredible she's an incredible songwriter and um, you've chosen two of her songs as well. yeah she submitted um, two of the songs the first one being How We Love and I heard it and fell in love with it and I was like she was like I want you to record this yeah and I was like, oh, wow. I mean, the lyrics are so simple but beautiful. Tell such a great story. Um, and she's featured on, on one of that. Like, she does loads of the back and behind us and the harmonising. And it's kind of like a little duet. Yeah. Um, and then another one called My Love Will Find You, which is a great kind of big, epic anthem. It's great. Yeah. It's great. But she's, she's amazing. She's incredible. She came up at the studio about four weeks ago to um, to see how it was all going and she was sitting in tears listening to this song she was like I'm and she so has, happy you've recorded these she has such a calming yeah. sort of and, and she'll not mind me saying this but she's a real maternal way about yeah. it you know you feel you feel so calm and safe so, when she's there and so experienced you know yeah. she's worked from I mean she was I think she was working with Will I Am last week she's got gone from Faith Hill to the biggest country stars biggest pop stars she's worked with so Absolutely. many incredible people and of course she wrote the kids for Faith yeah, Hill yeah. as well um, right, you're going to sing that for us. Yes. Uh, tell us what you're going to sing. I'm going to sing you a song um, that was written for the album um, by an incredible girl called Belle Humble, and it's called I Have a Broken Heart. Oh, Joe, have you had a broken heart? Um, I've been upset. I don't know whether that was a broken heart, but I've been upset. You'll know it if you have it. I hope you don't. <laughs> right, this is uh, Joe McAldrey. His new album, of course, is uh, called Here's What I Believe, and it's out on the 10th of September. Joe, take it away. People tell me I'm too young to know that I'll get over you. I'ma let you go, but they don't feel the way I feel right now. If they knew you in the way I did and how you love me, they'd understand this pain is real. No time won't heal, so this is how it feels to be torn apart. The sky is falling down and I'm lost in the dark how will I ever get over you how will I ever get over you oh. I know I gotta try but I'm dying inside and I don't know where to start so this is how it feels to have a broken heart, yeah. The world looks different now, and I realize I'm not invincible. I'm just another guy who paid the cost, who loved and lost. I wonder where you are, I know I can't stop myself. Keep thinking that maybe you're with someone else, it's killing me. I want to be free, so this is how it feels to be torn apart. The sky is falling down, and I'm lost in the dark. How will I ever get
mean, hitting those high notes and obviously pop star to opera star as well. That was unbelievable yes. last year. Um, what about musicals and, and, and things like that? You know what, everybody asks that. I think after doing that show last year, the training mm. kind of proved that I could kind of sing in that style. I mean, I would do it. It just, if you're going to commit to something that long, it's got to be a show that you really want to do. You're doing the same thing every night. You want to put your, your stamp on it. Yeah. So if the right show came along, Oh, what I really want to do. You must have one in mind. Is there one? I in really mind? want to do, um, like I, I want somebody to make a, a new Greece, like a new style film of Greece, ah, not right. Greece, but the, an, another storyline, but the same right. concept with the music. And yeah. I'd love to be a part of it. We needed like a Greece of our time, you know, like my generation. Do it so yourself. I want to do it. There you go. <laughs> Joe McCall is going to copyright that idea, not <laughs> so yes. So Joe, obviously you're here um, talking about the album, but. Something very special is happening tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, performing as part of the power of the first, I think it's the first place to visit, um, Belfast City Hall tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I'm performing for the Paralympic Torch Festival. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm performing when it arrives, um, doing a show for entertaining everybody that's going to be there. So it's going to be really cool. The atmosphere is going to be great. Be and amazing. whenever I come over here, the crowds are always incredible. Everybody's so supportive. So, and I haven't performed here for nearly, properly, a proper show, I think, it's nearly two years. It was two Christmases ago, so I can't wait to perform for everyone. And did you get into the whole spirit of 2012 and the Olympics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, got, I was fortunate enough to see the opening ceremony. You were not. I was, yeah. It was pretty incredible. Really? Um, and I also performed in Hyde Park for the BT gigs. Um, yeah, true. With the, with <laughs> the, they were showing all the Olympics, and I went on stage like 10 minutes after Chris Hoy had won the, the gold medal. So oh, the crowd oh, that was like, electric. Oh, they, they were going crazy. And then the screens opened and we performed with the band and everybody was just jumping all over and partying. It was great. Oh. Really, really good. Joe, it's been amazing. I love talking to you. Oh, thank um, you. It's just like, you just get, there's just so much energy around you. It's fabulous. It really is. And um, the album is like on the uh, 10th of September. Are you going to be doing a tour maybe? With it? Yeah, I've got two album launch shows um, to, to kick it off in Newcastle and London. Mm -hmm. um, and then the idea is that I'll go on tour in January. So I'm, I'm, I want this to be one of the one-stop places I could do, because I always love coming over here. <laughs> right, tell us about uh, the new single. I'm going to play it now. It's called a uh, Here's What I Believe. And actually, we've got some Shakespeare's sister coming up too. Yes. Quite coincidentally. Yeah, um, it was co-written between me, Marcella Detroit, and um, Gav Clark from the band Uncle. Yeah. And it's kind of like a conversation to to an, an, an ex when this is sung, saying that you're not going to put up with the rubbish anymore, you know, you, you can't understand why they want to just, it, it's all about like the lies and trials and tribulations of a relationship basically. And it's just about saying, all the, you know what. <laughs> well just all about like, like people like, like lying and playing games and just like that you don't want to put up with that, you know, so it's like here's what I believe, I'm not, I'm not going to do this anymore, like I, don't, I never believed in this kind of stuff. So. See you later. Get lost. I've had enough of you. Adios, <laughs> amigos. Get out of here. Joe, lovely talking to you. Thanks Thank a million you. for dropping in. This is uh, from, of course, um, the new album. It's the title track from Joe. It's out on the 10th of September. Here's what I believe. Joe, good luck. Thanks a million. Thank you.